The Dozen Trivia Competition presented by BetterHelp is back with a rematch of the Season 1 Tournament Championship between the Misfits, 1-1-0, and the defending champion Big Screamin' Honkers who are winless on the season at 0-1-1. The Misfits have scored 27 points in their first two matches, but it's been nothing short of a disaster for Tournament MVP Coley Mick Robbie Fox and Ben Mintz. Is now the time they turn around this championship hangover or will the Misfits go 2-1-0? It's the Misfits, it's the Honkers, and it all starts right now. All right, it's the Dozen match 118. Uh, that, that's not true at all. It's 135 match 18 of season two presented by Better Help. We have the defending champion, Big Screaming Honkers, 0-1-1. One loss, one overtime loss against the team they beat in the championship. The Misfits won 1-0, oh, coming off a big win against Chicago, a, a win they, they ran away from. And, I mean, their first match of the year, too, they were they were in up till the end. They scored 27 points in their 1-1-0. One, one oh. Pretty solid stuff. But first, we're from our sponsor, BetterHelp. This match of the dozen is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. You may not be, you know, down and depressed, but... You know, you may not be feeling completely down, out, depressed, or a complete and total loss, but maybe you have a high-stress job, maybe temper is shorter than usual, you're starting to feel a strain of a relationship, friendship, could be anything. You need something to help you unload. That's just how life is. No shame in, in therapy or help or anything like that. Talk to someone who's completely unbiased about your life. You know, someone who isn't going to judge you or take uh, any side on a matter that you have, big or small. There's some things you don't, you don't want to tell friends or family. BetterHelp is here to help you with that. Customized online therapy offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. You don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's more affordable, which is great than in-person therapy. You can start communicating with your therapist in under 48 hours. Quick, easy, stress-free. Unload everything that you can. Get some unbiased feedback. You'll be surprised, too. If you've never done something like this, look, it's if even if it doesn't help, it's worth a try, and that's all BetterHelp wants you to know. See if it's for you. Again, BetterHelp sponsoring this episode. They're going to give you 10% off the first month at BetterHelp, B-E-T-T-E-R, help.com slash dozen. That's betterhelp.com slash dozen. All right. That was actually technically a word for me via the sponsor, but, you know, it's, it's whatever. Uh, Coley, defending champs, 0-1-1. And you lost, you lost to your mom in the last match. We did. It was huh. tough. Um, they showed up. You know what I mean? They got their questions. They answered them. We didn't answer ours. That loss was on us. And we just got to be better. I mean, we we haven't performed poorly. We're averaging 10 points a game. You know what I mean? Like, if we're our overtime loss to one of the, the top four teams in the league. Like, I'm, I'm not stressing over it, but I would like to see a, a victory on the board, get the second. Seat. Like, we can't keep resting on last season we can't be resting on a championship like it's it's a new year it's time to look forward not back dante uh you're always accused of ripping your team apart by one of your teammates uh one one and oh you took them to you know you're you maybe the most beautiful setting we've ever had in the history of the show today uh how is the the team vibe because it it wasn't great on text message again last night hank once again he, was, he felt slighted yeah i don't know i think Hank is trying to put a chip on his own shoulder to boost his own play, which, hey, whatever you got to do. Goddamn right. Works, but Goddamn we're, right. <laughs> we've never been more solid as a team. 1-1-0, um, one, one oh, chance to go 2-1-0. Oh. Other side, Honkers trying to avoid three losses to start the season. I mean, it's a long fucking season. The tournament's not till April. We um, got time. <laughs> that's, why we, that's why we did it. That's why we did it. Uh, we're trying to get all the teams to – and there's there's three teams people look at. They're looking for chicklets. They're looking for the yak again. They're looking for the experts. Brandon Walker, he's got a billion shows. He's got this live show at night now. So it's been tough getting Brandon Walker to uh, to commit to doing uh, the dozen, I guess. But uh, we'll get him next week, I guess, where he's going to be back. And then we're going to try to get ZD in. Maybe a little ZD versus chicklets. That's kind of the dream matchup there. Uh, but football season kicking into gear. So once these new shows get going, we'll be able to – Schedule dozen teams back out like we used to. Anyway, is this not the dream matchup? Yeah, the, this is a championship, the championship match. rematch. It should yeah. be a dream. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm yeah. not gonna say. I'm, I'm gonna say oh, my I boss is part of the dream matchup. That's no, you're right, Jeff. Tell all the people watching right now to turn it off. You wait for next. Classic, week. Jeff. 
I, I hate this fucking show so much. Here we go. First category of the day. Uh, Misfits, you did lose a championship, but guess what? New season, you're one, one to know. You're going up first each round. Uh, first category is baseball. Baseball. Fuck. Here we go. 35 seconds on the clock. Baseball. Prior to the awards discontinuation in 2012, what antacid company sponsored the Relief Man Award? For the Misfits. Roll eights. I mean, there's three or four. Tanakin. Tough acting, Tanakin? No, I don't think that's it. That's uh, athlete's foot. That's John Madden you're thinking of. Um, Roll eights, Tom. Read 10. Are you sure roll eight is going to get acid? Five. Four. Riggs, three. Roll two. eight's final answer. It was the roll eight's relief man award. One to nothing. Oh, That's my guy. That's my no. guy, Dante. Also, Riggs and Coley, I just assumed were final answer people as usual. You guys have played enough. I need to ask that question. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Boy. Oh, this is the first episode, by the way, that's officially available as a podcast, I think. A podcast? Yeah, people want to listen to it, I guess. So I think it is. If it's not, I lied. Here we go. Other, it's going to be – it will be on Apple and Spotify soon. Here we go. Other side. From 1999 through 2006, what real estate-focused company sponsored the MLB Home Run Derby? Century 21. The Honkers' final answer? Yeah. One to one off the bat. Celebrity mashup. It's for the Misfits. Well, two celebrities are mashed up in this photo. When the photo gets large, you will have your timer begin. <laughs> I know the I know the outside. Is that KFC? Yeah. Just kidding. Who would be the inside? Twenty seconds. Do we have any guesses for the inside? It's yeah. a girl. Ten it's seconds. Eliz- I think it's Elizabeth. Uh... Okay. What's the outside, Hank? Five. Do we know the inside? We're gonna take a guess. Edward Norton is right. outside. Edward Norton, yeah. Elizabeth Olsen. Final answer. Incorrect. Other side. Fifteen seconds. Coley, do you have the outside? I think the inside is Amy Adams. Amy, I, I like I'm, that. I'm I not certain that it's Edward Norton, but I think it's a good guess. I think it's a good guess, too, and he would have been a tip. So Amy Adams and Edward Norton, final answer, Jeff. That is correct. Two to one. Honkers, chance to go up three to one on celebrity mashups. Here's yours. When the picture is shown, your timer begins. And the two celebrities mashed up in this photo. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really funny picture. Um, do you know the inside? I think I have the man. Ten seconds. Is it gas? Oh, Five Ricochet. Four, Ricochet. Four, more hair than three. Gas. I got nothing, Bob. I don't want to guess it then. Other side, 15 seconds to tie it up. It's either Matt Walsh or the the guy from Birdman. Uh, what's Michael his name? Michael Keaton. Batman. Mike, Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton and uh, I don't think I him enough. Reeks five. Four. Michael no Keaton and Isla Fisher. That is Michael Keaton indeed, but it's Rachel McAdams. Michael uh, Keaton. Rachel, Rachel McAdams. McAdams. Two to one. Harper steal one. I was trying to guess who could be with Amy Adams, and I was just guessing another redhead. You did another McAdams Adams. Yeah. Dude, it's Elizabeth Smart. Those three girls I always get confused with. Yeah, I was each thinking other. Elizabeth Smart, but I didn't think. Like, I'm glad we said nothing. Uh, NBA, <laughs> NBA, NBA, excuse me. You're all right, Jeff. You got the vid? It's been going on for um, two months. Um, NBA, anyone want a double? Fuck no. Here we go. This is for the Misfits. 
The Suns drafted what player missing from this top five of the 2013 NBA draft? Anthony Bennett, Victor Oladipo, Otto Porter Jr., and Cody Zeller. Who was the fifth player out of this top five for the missing? Dra- Dragon Bender, final answer. <laughs> Incorrect. Other side. No, that's not correct. Um, <laughs> Dragon yeah, Bender is the name. fucking buzzer. Dragon Bender was like 2016. He, Holy, could it be Alex Lynn or is that not? Uh, you know what, Mency? Alex Len, final answer. Fuck. That is correct. Three to one. Had a boy, boy Mency. Robbie Fox stunned. There's a player named Dragon Bender, though. <laughs> Dragon Bender. <laughs> I mean, yeah. How are they not He's the most correct. famous NBA player ever? He's Bender correct. went. Dragon Bender went. only got drafted because Chris Apps was okay for that piece. Yeah, he went like four too, right? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Other side, NBA to take a four to one lead here early. The Jazz drafted what player missing from this top five of the 2014 on, NBA draft? Final answer. Fuck. I could not hear you, but I heard you say final answer. What was your answer? Dante Exum. Australian yeah. Kobe. Yep. Four to one. We'd like to double that retroactive. <laughs> <laughs> um, next category is movies. Movies. This is a new thing we're doing with movies. It's a chain. You're going to see an actor's name, a movie, a blank space. A movie and another actor's name. You got to tell me the actor that shares the two movies with the other actors. You'll see it. You'll get an extra five seconds. It's a new category. This is for the Misfits. Anyone want to double movies? Here we go. Misfits. What actor or actress connects these stars in movies? Michael Fassbender to Alien Covenant. Blank, Tropic Thunder to Robert Downey Jr. So what person connected those actors? It's like the six series of Kevin Bacon. That's what we're doing here. So who else was in Tropic Thunder? Well, I don't, yeah, I've never seen Alien Covenant. That's Jack, so you had Jack Black, Ben Stiller, and Downey, and then who's the... Who Who else was in Alien Covenant? Was I don't know. Cruise? I've never seen it. He was, Cruz wasn't in Thunder, though. Yeah, he was. Was he? Yeah. Ooh. I don't know if he was an alien covenant. Have you never seen Tropic Thunder? <laughs> McConaughey, too. He wasn't in that. Uh, the guy from Eastbound and Down. Five. Four Reeks. Who do we want to go with? Cruise. Two. Tom Cruise, final answer. Other side. I really don't know. I never saw Alien Covenant. Who's um, giving the uh, who's giving Downey Jr. the award in that scene in Tropic Thunder? Like, who's presenting it to him? You know what I mean? I couldn't tell you. It's been so long since I've seen that movie. I really have no guesses. Um, Five. I mean, we should... Jack Black, final answer. Dante, it is the guy from Eastbound and Down. It's Danny McBride. Ooh, oh. 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 I never would have guessed that he was an alien covenant. No, I mean, he... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> other side, similar question. What actor or actress connects these stars in movies? Ben Affleck to Gone Girl, blank to Star Trek, then to Simon Pegg. Um, the only, I mean, the two Gone Girl actresses that I could think of are Emily Ratajkowski and Roseman Pike. You would have to think it's Roseman Pike, right? I, I think we now have to double dip and just say both of those. Right? Are you? The, I, uh, I don't think it's Emily. If it's not Roseman Pike, but <laughs> I really don't think it's Emily. I, you know what? I have faith in you. So what did you say? Ro- what's her name? Ro- Rosemond Pike. That's our final answer, Jeff. Uh, Other yeah. side, 15 seconds. Is that the girl could, from The Office? Is that, uh, we're, we're not saying it. No one said it was a girl. It could be Neil Patrick Harris. I don't know if he was in Star Trek, but. He was not in Gone Girl. It was? Doesn't he get fucking assassinated by her? No. Gone Girl's uh, the, the crackhead. Three. Reeves, two. Neil Patrick Harris, final answer. Come on, Hank. He's brutally murdered in, in Gone Girl. Yeah, all right. Yeah, thank God. For Hank. No, assassinated is a great you were, It's Tyler Perry. <laughs> Tyler Perry. Oh, Tyler Perry. Wow. Damn, I forgot. Yeah, he was the uh he was the lawyer in Gone Girl, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. He like yeah, runs Starfleet in Star Trek. Jeff. Uh, Category five is a brand new category. How well are you guys? How good are you? How well are you? I'm not good at speaking. How good are you guys at math? Oh, I suck. I never got past algebra. Me neither. (laughs) Basic math. Here's the difference. I can't hear anybody. You can't hear anybody? 
It, it cut out. We're back. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, no. You're going to see two problems in 30 seconds. We did one the other day. Too easy. Uh, here we go. 35 seconds. I will read the problem. Can I, like, write shit down? No, you actually – I'd prefer if everybody showed their hands to, like, for uh, sure during that. Holy, I'm good at middle math. This is strange for me. Love that, Mincy. <laughs> over, over background. All right, here we go. Keep those hands hands up, high, man. Just to know where – we can't be doing any – can we do any like the, the spelling bee thing? Yeah, here we go. Solve these two math problems. 17 times 3 plus 20, and then 78 divided by 3 minus 15. And, uh, so the first one is for the misfits. The first one is the first one is 71. 54 plus 20. 74. No, 71. You got to do inside the parentheses first. Yeah, 17 times 3 is it's 51. 17, 34, 51 plus 20. 71. 27 minus 15 is 12. So 71 and so 12 is what we're is, saying? Yeah. What do you say? What do you say the first the second one was inside? 27 Five, minus 15. Four. Three. Or two no, reads. Six, 20, six. 74 and and six. Way wrong. Other side for the steal. All right. It's, it's it's 71 and 11. Final answer. Coley, is that what you're going with? Are you sure it's 11, not 13? It's definitely uh, 71. It's, yes, it's it, the first one's right. 71, and the second one is so, is, is is 11. Coley, just repeat it. Final, it's 71 and 11, Jeff. Yes. That is correct, five to one. Who knew Mintz was a – There you go, Mintz. Poker, That's man. I got to do Poker and, and, yeah, yeah. Other side. Hands up, Mintz. Hands up. Hands up, man. <laughs> he just flashes them. They're still here. <laughs> That's still like Captain Khan's was wearing gloves, so he shows you're not cheating, but they have, they have fingers still. <laughs> here we go. Solve these. 84 divided by 6 plus 11, and 13 times 6 minus 10. Okay. This is a fucked up. Oh, no, I got this. First, the first one's 24, and the second one is... 68. 24 and 68. Final 24 answer. and 68, Jeff. Final answer. 24 and 68. Final answer. Incorrect. Other Why side. 25. Seconds. It's 25 and 68. Oh, man. 25 and 68. Final answer. Big steal right oh, back. Man. Oh, no. It's okay. It's I all right, needed that one off. Screwing up the okay, first. Nancy. Yeah. Okay, niche category time. Five to two. Anyone's ball game here. Lifeline's all on the board. Uh, niche categories. The Misfits. You offered up Kentucky basketball, uh, rap music, two thousands based, doing decades for music, and then the third one is eluding me. Italian food. Rap music is the question. It's been this has been penned by one Adam Ferrone. Here we go. 35 seconds after I'm done reading the question, worth two points. Who produced What's Your Fantasy, Lemonade, and Six Foot, Seven Foot in the 2000s? <laughs> Luda, Gucci, Wayne. It's obviously someone from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. It's not like Jermaine Dupree. Need an answer in five. Neptunes. Neptunes, final answer. Other side. I'm going to say I don't have a great answer. There's two coming to mind. One who worked with me, but he wouldn't have made the other one. So I'm going to say Bangladesh, final answer. That is correct. It's wow. Bangladesh, oh, seven yeah. to two. Let's go, Cole. Wow, massive. Hit him with their own finisher, like Stone massive. Cold in the Rock at uh, WrestleMania 19. All right, 7-2. This is going to go up 9-2. to two. You guys offered up poker, mm -hmm. which is still that would still be <laughs> pick a card, any card. Um, and another <laughs> one, uh, NFL draft first round, and the other one was uh, Oasis. USC, I believe. But we Oasis. Was Oasis and – yeah, the accident. Yeah, that's a whole fucking thing. They didn't pick it anyway. It's NFL draft first round. Here we go. 
35 seconds after I'm done reading the question. This tight end was the only player to position to go in the first round of the 2010 NFL draft when an AFC North team selected him. Only tight end to go in the first round 2010, AFC North team selected him. Is that Jermaine Gresham, uh, Mincy? Yeah, maybe he went to the Bengals. That's a that's a good, pretty good guess. This I was David and Joku's not old enough for this one. No, 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 no. That was like three years ago, and Jeff wouldn't yeah, give us yeah, a brown question yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, give me uh, Oklahoma's very own Jermaine Gresham to the Bengals. Final answer, Jeff. That is correct. Nine to two, massive first half for the Honkers. All lifelines available though, as we go into the bonus round. Bonus round time. Sports franchises. We go second. Don't forget, we go second. Okay. <coughs> Sports franchises. We've done a similar question before. Tweaked a little bit. And for 2021. I'll read the question. Then, Riggs, you guys are up first. Okay. In the top 25 most valuable sports teams in the United States for 2021. U.S. only. Cowboys. Yes, someone outside U.S. Yeah. Dallas Cowboys, final answer. New, or New York Yankees. Yeah, yeah, I agree. New York Yankees. Red Sox. New York Knicks, final answer. You want to steal uh, a Red Sox answer? Yeah, Boston Red Sox. Los Angeles Lakers, final answer. What do, you, uh, what do you think of the Celtics, Coley? Eh, not right now. I'm, I okay, do fair know, enough. That's what I'm I, asking. I do uh, know the New England Patriots will four. be on there, though. You know what? Three. How about yep. the, hey, how about the New, England, New England Patriots? Yep, yep, yep. yep. The Mets got to be one, New York. New York. Uh, you know what? Dallas Mavericks, final answer. All right, Coley, let's go with the L.A. Rams because that stadium, there's just no way they're not top 25 with that fuck, that freaking $700 million. Five. Game. Three. Los Angeles Rams. Misfits, you need this bad. Stay alive. Mets. You want to go Mets? Yeah. yeah. New, New, York, New York Mets, final answer. Champs are starting to run away with it up 11 to 2. 11 points of the bonus round. Here's the rest of the team. The <laughs> Mavericks are in the top 50 worldwide, but here's the rest of them. Warriors. I should have known that. Celtics Steel, were I was going to guess the Giants. Steelers in the next guess. Spelled incorrectly, but on there nevertheless. <sighs> Going at home, we'll see that. Ah, they might. I can't spell. All right, Misfits Broncos. down nine. A lot of points left, but need a monumental comeback. We've seen a massive comeback the second half before. Here we go. Category seven is college football. Does anyone want to double? No. Mincy, do you want to? I mean, I don't have a I, I don't care. Whatever. No, let's leave it. Let's leave it. Then. Here we go. It's for the misfit. In week three of the 2016 season, North Dakota State pulled off an FCS over FBS upset, and they beat what ranked Big Ten school? It's not ours. This is not ours. This is us, right? Yeah. 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 It was Michigan, was it right? No, I don't think it was. I think it was Iowa. That sounds right. I will always struggled early. I don't know. I remember Michigan getting beat to open a season. Yeah, but this is week three. I think it. I think it is Iowa. <coughs> Ten yeah. seconds, Reese. Go with it. Iowa. Final answer. That's correct. Eleven to three. Needed it. Little boost, other side. Regain that nine point lead. In week two of the 2010 season, James Madison pulled off an FCS over FBS upset when they beat well ranked ACC school. <laughs> Mint, what a face. Uh, man, I'm, I'm, I don't know why my instincts are saying NC State, but I, I don't like know for sure anything. That's just like, a, that's just what's flashing in my head, but I don't know that like. Ranked, ranked ACC school. Should we double dip? I think it'd be them and ranked ACC. 
I honestly don't know this that good. I'm not sure about it. Five, four, three, uh, two. Virginia Tech, final answer. Oh, you son of a bitch. Wow. Oh. Oh. Bunkers on fire after a it brutal just makes sense. upset lost in their last match, running away with it. Nine-point lead, uh, and we have 12 points remaining. College basketball, do you want to double anybody? Yeah, we'll double. Yeah. All right. No. Doubled up for the Misfits. In 2003-2004, the Stanford player won Pac-10 Pac Player of the Year, the last to do so from the school. All right, so it could be Ben Jacobson, Josh Childress. I think it was Jacobson. Do you consider LeBron? Ben Jacobson, <laughs> final answer. Not Ben. Ben Jacobson. Casey Jacobson. Not Andrew Locke. <laughs> Casey Jacobson, final answer. Other side. I like the Childress guess. Yeah, Childress was what I was thinking too. But now I just feel like his name's probably Ben Jacobson. Like he he didn't have that name at all. But yeah, I'll go Josh Childress, final answer. Record watch fourteen. To three. Rode you rode yourself. He roaned himself. I can't believe I did that. Oh no! Josh Childress uh, was the only Stanford player from that era I knew, so that was getting said by us. And on the Lope, how old is Lopez? Is old, but they ain't that old. Yeah, yeah I thought it was old. Casey Jameson, the guy who's announced like the tall blonde head. That's also, I believe, if math is correct, the win. So we'll rip through oh, these. Oh my god! First win of the year for the Honkers, but you can set a monumental record. Here's yours. In 2002-2003, this Wake Forest player won ACC Player of the Year, the last to do so from the school. My, my. Oh, hang on. Is this Chris Paul? No, he was drafted a few years later. This, but this is after Randolph Childress, too, though. Good Duncan. This is too old for that. Yeah, it's somewhere right in the middle. All right. I don't know. Forest player went ACC for the year. Need something in. Five. I got another. Four. Two. Yeah. Chris Paul, final answer. Josh Jared, Howard, Jared Josh, Jack. Oh. Josh oh, Howard, final answer. A frustrated Reeves gets that <laughs> one right. 14-10, uh, 14-4, excuse me. 10-point lead. 10-point uh, lead with nine points remaining. That confirms my bad mental math. Here we go. Television still matters. Honkers, you can set a record. This is for the Misfits, though. What channel did this show air on from 2003 to through, through 2008? <laughs> you don't need the name of the show. What channel did it air on? Fox. I mean, that's what he's on now. He's always been Fox. No one's given him a show besides Fox. <laughs> Fox <laughs> final not a fan, maybe. <laughs> Fox final answer. <laughs> yeah, I think it's ABC. I was going to say TBS. So I, I trust your ABC, though. You're kind of on fire. Jeff this likes saying with the. You have double dip, right? No, it's Steel. Steel. Five. Steel. ABC, final answer. It was TBS. That's Frank oh, TV. Oh, TBS. Oh, right. TBS. That's going to hurt the chance of the record. Other side, though. Here we go. You're coming in close in the record. I'm trying to get the stat. I'm forgetting. Well, I think stop talking about the goddamn record. Maybe we'll get it. You got it. You get the, <laughs> it's a blow. You got to keep the people invested. Here we go. Same thing. What channel? Uh, Mind of Mencia, is that the question? Is the question what channel was Mind of Mencia on, or did he have another show? There can't be no way he got another show. That was Comedy Central, final Comedy answer. Comedy Central, yeah. That is correct. 15 Fuck to him. 4. Fuck Colorado. You guys still have your double, don't forget. Other the record? Record. Fuck him. The honkers don't fuck with him. What's the not, our, not our day. Music no. for the Misfits. Beyonce won her first MTV VMA for Video of the Year in 2009 for what song? Uh, uh, for what song did she win her second in 2016? Formation. The bat song. It's formation. Forma formation, final answer. There it is, 15-5. Dante with music is tough. Other side. Rihanna won her first MTV VMA for video of the year in 2007. For what song did she win her second in 2012? Found Love in a Hopeless Place. I don't know what the actual name of the song is. No, that was later. 
Um, hey, I think it's the song with Eminem. Love, love the, the way, way you lie. lie. Yeah. Or was that? Ah, no, that would have been a little before that. Yeah. Uh, uh, we found love. Final answer. That is correct. 16 to 5. Good shot. Uh, I thought you passed on that. Yeah. It, <laughs> I uh, did initially, but once I remembered when the other song came out, I was like, no, my, my brain's just off with time. Two categories left. NFL is the next one. Do you want to double? Yeah. Sure. Doubled up. <laughs> Misfits, this is for you. The last time an AFC North player led the league in Washington was in 2003 when what player did it? That'd be Jamal Lewis. Jamal, Jamal Lewis, yeah. Be more. Or, uh, or William Green, was he back then? I feel, like, I feel like it was Jamal Lewis, though. He was right around then. Yeah, I like that. I like that pick. Is he Ray's yeah, brother? The person I'm thinking of, but. Because Bettis would have still been with Pittsburgh. It wasn't him. Five. Jamal Four. Lewis, final answer. It's a year he had all those records against the Browns. That is correct. 16-6. Bunkers for the record. The last time an NFC West player led the league in rushing was in 05 when what player did it? That's Sean Alexander, right? Oh, yeah. Definitely oh, got to yeah. be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're on the cover of Madden the next – ooh, was that? Uh-oh. Double dip. Can't. You doubled it up. You're Ten seconds. Double, yeah. Sean Alexander, final answer. Most points ever in the dozen. 18 for the honkers. That's how you bounce back. Off, off Last the one, geography. Aside from Las Vegas, Nevada has two of the, the top 60 most populated cities in the country. Name the other one. Misfits. Reno and, Ta Reno and Jefferson or Tahoe? Tahoe is not in Nevada, is it? It's yeah, it's not like Henderson, though, is it? Yeah, that's what I meant. Not Jefferson. Yeah, I, th I would say Henderson and Reno. Well, it's one you have to name one. So you also do you so we'll, we'll, one, we'll, we'll, we'll double we'll double dip. Um, Henderson. That is correct. 17, 18 to seven. Other side to finalize the record at nineteen. Aside from Newark, New Jersey. New Jersey has two of the top 75 most populated cities in the country. Name the other. You think it's Hoboken? Should we phone a friend? Could if you wanted to. Who would we phone? I think it's either Hoboken or Jersey City. Well, I'm going to call uh, uh, someone who lives in New Jersey. Um, well, you had one of those people on your team. Brandon yeah. Walker. You want me to call Shay? I'm also already live. I also live in New Jersey. <laughs> I live in New Jersey oh. as well. I'm a lot, clearly I'm a, lot, a lifelong resident there, boy. <laughs> you wanted a mild taunt, but I don't think Brandon's going to answer. He's not. He's being a coward. <laughs> uh, you also have we your get, double. We dip. get double dip. I was going to say that's your last lifeline. Yeah, let's double dip, Bob. What are, what, are your, what are your two guesses? Let's start with Hoboken. Hoboken. I would go Jersey City. You'd go Jersey City. You wouldn't go somewhere more. Three. Right, Jersey City, final answer. The record, 19 points. The Honkers set it. I should have had 20. Impressive performance. Oh. Uh, Riggs, you, Riggs, you look more dejected than anyone I've ever seen based on the Josh Childress question. I can't believe I did that. I, listen, we got off to a decent start. We have our strength to schedule. We played three of the top five teams in the – That's true. No. One and two is not acceptable, though. We, 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 no. we shouldn't be scoring seven. You know, we screwed up. The, the Nietzsche question, the Josh Childress, Dallas Mavericks is what I get for trusting Mark Cuban. I blame him squarely for this loss, um, and nobody else. So the bonus yeah, round, the bonus round has owned us. Yeah, the bonus yeah. round top. We haven't won a bonus round this year, this season. Yeah, we got, we got to figure that out. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's anytime Mince is around, he just 
cast a spell on this team and <laughs> our entire game plan. I think I, Regan, I think your your Owen one side became good friend with your cousin this summer though, so that's maybe a bad omen. I don't. Most yeah, random I don't, thing to happen to me in my life. Um, Coley, I don't other you side. <laughs> Coley, other side. Gotta feel good. Uh, yeah, I mean it's still just one win on the on the board, but we're we're on to the next one. This was nice, you know. I mean, we the two time champion. We just set records every time we get out there. So it, it's it's. I'm glad we finally have the victory on the board. Mintz was awesome. Bob was awesome. Great. We found Love Bowl. It was great early. Great, great Jersey City. It was a good team win. Coley, second most individual points ever scored in the history of the show. Thank you to the Misfits and the Honkers. Another team to three matches. We'll get more in next week. Will Brandon return? Is he scared of the dozen? Thanks to BetterHelp. We'll talk to you next time.